gene is not present. The other gene is present, but it won't occur in the female, right? So this is a sex-limited character. Now, what is X inactivation? This is all about genetics. Now, what we know is that in male we are having XY chromosome as a sex chromosome. In female we are having XX chromosome as uh, the sex chromosome. Now, normally what we know that females are getting both of them. Females are getting both of the X because we know both of the X chromosomes that we are seeing are the same chromosomes. They are having same number of genes, having the same function or controlling the same characteristics. So we don't require, so they don't require actually the double copy of the same chromosome. So in this case what they do actually, they sometimes when they get both of them together, they omit one chromosome. So they actually inactivate one X chromosome out of it because if they carry out the expression of both the chromosomes, sometimes they can interfere with their action, sometimes it is loss of resources inside the cell. So that's why in female candidates, one X chromosome is inactivated, it is condensed called the form of bar body. As you can see here in this nucleus, one X chromosome is very much tightly condensed so you can easily visualize it after staining. This is called a bar body. Uh, and, and it is uh, it is according to the develop, uh, developer or the discoverer of it bar Epstein bar so bar body right so one X is completely inactivated that is called the X inactivation right and also this is called the dosage compensation dosage compensation means we are having dosage of X genes and we need to compensate that dosage for certain things that's why the bar body forms so once the bar body is formed this will give a characteristic effects mainly seen in the cat. So if you look at here, now capital B he is acting as a dominant allele for black, which is uh, giving the black fur, and Y is acting as a recessive allele for yellow, which is a yellow fur, right? So B is a dominant black fur, Y is a recessive, which is a yellow fur. Now if we get is X B, now this square thing means it is inactivated. So the, this representation of this article is that if we are having a square that means it is inactivated. Normally what we know for female one X will be inactivated. So here we go if you look at here in this picture what we can see that in this case here in this in this region of the far XB is normal XY. So Y means the Y or the yellow character is inactivated. So this X is inactivated via the dosage compensation. So we are having X which is having which is carrying the capital B as the dominant allele which is getting the black. So you see the black coloration here. But on the other cells that are present here is inactivating the gene uh, the X chromosome which is having the black colored gene and thus it is giving the yellow color section. In other regions, it might inactivate or activate certain regions of certain X chromosome. It's also been seen. Sometimes the dosage composition occurs by fully inactivating a whole set of X chromosomes. So as we can see here, either this X or th that X, whatever X can be inactivated. But in certain cases, they inactivate few genes of the X and they activate that gene, that genes of the other X and some other genes are active in other X. So both the X's are not fully inactivated but certain genes in the X1 is inactive and those genes in the X2 are active. On the other hand certain genes on X2 are inactive which are active in the X1 and this thing is shown in case of uh, C. elegans, the worm. Right? So in that case we can see those things. This is all the effect of its inactivation. But the basic idea is if gene ABCD is active from a X, X, one X chromosome, they shouldn't be active in the other X. So same genes won't be active twice in both the X chromosome. That's the rule. Right? So that's how we can see. Now as, as there is no pattern in this system because in, in cells there is no determination which X is going to be inactive and which is going to be active because it doesn't turn something much. Otherwise uh, this addition of coloration and all these things which are not harmful. So for that reason in different cells and different far cells as you can see there are different inactivation of X chromosome. That is giving rise to the different mosaic effect on the female calico cat. Right? So that's how the calico cat gets this beautiful.